We're at CES 2018 with this terrible dingy background, but look what Ford has made. The city of tomorrow, today, and with us from Ford is Jessica Robinson, who's going to give us a quick tour. So what does the city of tomorrow look like? Yeah, so this is the city of tomorrow brought to life in a living street. And what we're really trying to talk about here at CES is how do we use technology uh, to bring community back to the cities that we call home. So we're actually walking in a, a city street lane that has been repurposed as a bicycle lane. And this is something that cities around the world are actually doing because we're recognizing that as we have new ways of coordinating the ways people are getting around, we can actually take some of the, the use of roads and put them into other things. So we see, we'll see that in another minute here. But before we move on, uh, we actually have here a demonstration vehicle that Ford uh, did in partnership with uh, Virginia Tech. And what we were exploring was, as we move to self-driven vehicles, how might we, as pedestrians who need to cross the crosswalk here, um, interact with a self-driving vehicle? Because the vehicle will see us and yes. know that um, it should stop, but how do we know that it's gonna stop What's for the answer, us? how do we know? So You're that's what they the were crosswalk. testing. That's right, so the vehicle, of course, is stopped. But um, what we did is we actually dressed up the driver to look like a driver's seat. So even though someone was driving it, you wouldn't know. And so we're testing the light bar and some various different flashes to let us know as pedestrians that he sees us and it's gonna wait for us. Okay, so we've got um, uh, extra space because with autonomy brings maybe fewer cars, a little less congestion. That's right, so with self-driving, with bicycles, and with shared rides as well. So Ford has Chariot, um, which is one of our microtransit services, so multiple people can get around together. What's happening here? This looks like a park in a, uh, a lane, and it, that seems unwise. It is a park in the street. This is something else that's happening right now. This uh, is called a parklet. Uh, and cities are using this to let um, people in the community come up and play with new ideas of how we can use space if we take um, space away that's currently used for parking. I think one of the critical things is the technology that enables this kind of repurposing of, of what we expect the city to look like. Yes. Uh, what's happening here with the pizza situation? Yes, it is a pizza situation. So this is another um, demonstration project that we did, this time in partnership with Domino's. And as we start to um, get more ready to deploy our self-driving vehicles, we're starting to turn and look at the business models that will uh, start to come into play. So this car has actually been out on the road in southeast Michigan delivering real live pizza to real live customers. So, so, so literally the car will just appear, I will get a text or something saying, come get your pizza, come Micah. Your pizza. And yep. then I walk out, push a code, and the pizza's waiting for me? That's right, that's right. And so what, uh, what we're interested in testing together is are you willing to get off the couch, put on your shoes, put on your jacket, and come outside? Will there be pizza? There will be pizza. Then the answer is yes. yes. So, you know, we've got self-driving vehicles, we've got a changing use of roads and cities. Uh, what's going to power this all as much as anything is vehicles being connected more and more, whether they're Ford or otherwise, and how do vehicles, uh, smart street furniture, this is actually a portable, uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot um, that's also an environmental uh, sensor, so it's collecting things like carbon dioxide in the city. How do these two things share data to the cloud and maybe let the city that we're calling home uh, know what's going on. And so that's what our transportation mobility cloud, which perhaps is all around us, that was what it would power. What I'm taking away is that no single technology is going to enable this. It is a holistic, very, very complicated problem that you have to solve and I just have to talk about. And also, there will be pizza. Okay, uh, very last question then. Uh, just give us sort of a general timeline. Um, we know that one third of roads in cities are actually allocated uh, to cars today. And so as we start to share rides and get driven around in, in new modes, um, I think we'll be able to take other lanes out um, probably sooner than you think. Yeah, I think it's very cool. Now yeah. if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get my pizza. Absolutely. I got it. <laughs> Well, I didn't expect the song. The Domino's heat container is open. You can safely remove it. It's fresh, it's fresh, it's pure.